What is up, hashtag Salaman Squad? It is officially here. It is not just a new set, it is a new era of sets. We have officially finished the Sun and Moon series and are now moving on to Sword and Shield. And I was honestly very excited to see that there was an Elite Trainer Box alongside um, regular packs. Usually the Elite Trainer Boxes are staggered when the sets come out, um, but I think just because there's been so much hype around it being like I said, like a new era of sets that they're ready to go. And I also do not usually see like this wrapping, or maybe you do see this wrapping on Elite Trainer Boxes, but I just don't notice it. But it totally reminds me of the old school base set era booster boxes and everything like that. But very excited to get into this. And I know, <clears throat> sorry about that. I know that it is a, um, it's been a crazy upload schedule recently. Usually I do every Wednesday as I've been kind of just pushing out videos when they're ready to go. Um, because I got a Troll and Toad order with about three videos there. Two of them are out, including a Chinese EX Legend Maker pack opening that I did. I want to say it was basically uploaded yesterday. Um, but I'm excited to get these going. I have five packs of Cosmic Eclipse that I'll probably just open myself, but 15 packs of Sword and Shield that will also be open in a separate video. And this video will just be this bad boy right here. Now, this is very exciting for a couple of reasons because it is the first time we've had, not a new, new like like I keep saying, a new era of sets uh, since I've become a channel. It has all been so, uh, Sun and Moon cards and packs since I started my channel in early 2019, and we finally get, oh wow, oh, what was that? We finally get some new goods. Oh, that was just a sensor tag. So Newberry Comics knows I'm not stealing their products, which I would never do. All right, there we go. The beautiful player guide. And honestly, I haven't seen too much of the card list about what there is, but Rainbow Rare Trainer cards, absolutely stunning. I forget if there were Rainbow Rare Trainer cards, but look at those gold cards. Oh my god. Very, very excited for all of these cards. Well, oh, gold, well, gold Pokemon cards, but not fully gold. That that's cool, that's new. The V cards are new. Um, not a ton of, like, super seeker rares, um, I guess these are all just gonna be, like, the seeker rare ones that you can pull, full art ones, and then some rainbow rares. Um, the rainbow rares aren't the doggo boys, they're the, uh, gold rares. And, uh, yeah, you're soon gonna learn that even though this is an English set, oh, very cool that the way, it wasn't, it wasn't just flat topped, it, it's got the actual, it's got, like, curvature to it. Very, very nice. They've really stepped up their game with this packaging. A uh, little, like, gold paper to go in there. Um, and it comes with these sleeves. These are going to be the uh, sword sleeves, which I should honestly learn his name because that is the starter. That's the game I chose, so I should know his name, you'd think. Uh, Zakian, or Zashian. I'm going to call him Zakian because Zashian sounds kind of dumb. But Zakian, Sword Doggo. This is the Zakian... Elite Trainer Box with his sleeves, which is good because I need sleeves. I've been opening a lot of packs, need some sleeves. Code card off to the side for now. I will give that away in a minute. I just want to showcase everything else. Very nice. It's either I just haven't been opening Elite Trainer Boxes recently, or they're just really kind of stepping up their game. There's a bunch of energies. No need to open those because we know what's in it. And dice with a very nice looking, uh, almost like see-through with like a galaxy type feel to it die very nice very nice and then of course the reason we're all here are these eight packs but one lucky viewer is about to get the code card that unlocks all of this in game for you and i will give that away there you go congratulations to whoever gets that let me know what you get if you get anything good uh like i said haven't really seen the cards oh, gosh the packs just look so nice too don't really know the packs don't really know a lot of the cards i mean i've only opened four Packs. I've opened two uh, two sword and two shield packs um, because my friend Tasha, like I did, uh, mentioned her in a previous video, got me um, some from Japan. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's so cool! Do all the energies have this like cool pattern to it? I really hope they do like reverse hollows of these because that is such a cool energy. Darkness energy, very cool. Gonna put it off to the side. No, they're not worth anything. But, oh, well. <laughs> stupid i should have noticed that it's there so yes all the energies are gonna have that pattern that's so cool i want to get one of every one of them but a kingler there looks like there's something in the back right on big charm ghastly rokadi uh slizzly 
Slizzlopede, Slizzlopede, Slizzlopede. <laughs> Snom, a Malwile, a Bisharp. Oh, no, you are absolutely kidding me. I, you can't be serious. We this video could just be over. Are you serious? That is so amazing. What? What the hell? Oh my god. Card 211 out of 202 is the Z Zakian Gold Z card. What are the odds that we pull first pack? Give me a sleeve, Jesus. That is insane. That is one of the, probably the best pulls in the set. And we got it on our first pack. That is absolutely nuts. Oh my god, it's like really good condition card, which, you know, I'd hope it would be because it was in an elite trainer box, but holy cow. Look at the shine to that. Look at this, the border. Look at everything. That's incredible. We're, wow, 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 wow. Alright, it's, we're, we're pretty far in to this video with not a lot of substance. Let's get some more packs going, boys. That is insane. I cannot believe I pulled that. I could sell that right now for a lot of money, but like, of course, not going to. That's an insane card that I just pulled. Energy Retrieval, Heat More, Drizzle, Muna, Rosalie, Rose, Roselia, jeez. Choodle, <laughs> Choodle. Rhyhorn, Grokey, and a Cloyster. I do also like the uh, horizontal or the the vertical pattern that they're doing there. You can see it very well there. Very interesting. I like a lot of the the, the differences that they're switching up with this set uh, because I know after a while there's only so many cool things you can do. Like V cards, very cool, but they're like you know, it's not it it, it is a play into the EX GX X level X cards. Like it's just another letter. Um, so they got to switch it up in other ways. There's our electric energy, an Eldegoss, an air balloon. I also don't know if there's character cards in this. Wulu, Joltik, Salandit, call it. Ooh, we got them back to back. Very nice. Gosh, the wow, they're really pristine looking on that. And a Morpedo. Um, I should have probably looked at this earlier, but I mean, I guess if there's character cards, I mean, I don't think they're character cards in this set, which kind of stinks because I really liked what they were doing with character cards. I still can't believe that we pulled the Sword Doggo, uh, Zakian, in his full art gold card form. Wow, 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 wow. I think the gold card of him is the equivalent of, like, pulling the Rainbow Rare version of him, but, like, obviously it's different because, um, they have set it up where I guess the legendaries get a gold card. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, this is base set for Sword and Shield. So, obviously, you're not going to have all of, like, the legendaries and everything. They typically tend to do less cards uh, for the new sets. But a Galarian Ponyta. Very nice cotton candy looking boy. And a Sandaconda. I mean, at the end of the day, we don't pull anything else. The box is made. Like, how can you argue first pack in English that you pull something as incredible as that. That's like probably the best card I'm gonna pull in the set. Ooh, a fire energy. It looks very clean. We've gotten all different energies, which is cool. Uh, it's the best card I'm gonna pull probably ever opening these cards unless I buy my own. Uh, but that being said, I do want to see what the holographics look like because I heard that they were doing something different, like maybe uh, vertical lines because I know they did horizontal lines and like uh, black and white. So it's very interesting. Uh, hopefully we get to see what the score bunny and, ah, uh, speak of the devil, there we go. So they're doing the vertical lines, and there is Professor's Research Holographic card. Very nice. Honestly, this looks better than the horizontal. Um, it gives a very nice shine to it. So we'll put her in the back as well. I mean, I still have to finish Sword and Shield as a game, personally. I haven't really been keeping up with that. I'm around, like, the 8th, 7th or 8th gym, so, like, that's, you know, that's me. I gotta pull it. Like, what if, what if, what if I jinx it here and we pull the other doggo, the sword, the shield doggo, in all his glory? That would be so cool. Psychic energy. We are six for six with new energies. We only need, like, what? Water. Uh, no, they got rid of dragon. We need, like, water, fairy, metal. And I think we have them all. So that's very cool. A seeking, a thwackery, lucky egg, kudu. A lucky egg card would be a really cool, like, gold card also because it has that shine to it. Just, just... Just saying, Score Bunny, Pikachu. Pikachu looks thick there, also. Sinistee, 
a Wulu, a Thwacky again. And there we go. Is that a full art? That's a full art. That is a Stone Journeyer VMAX card. Oh, so they're doing the V and then, and then they have the VMAX. But that, that's that got a full art feel to it. So I don't know if all the cards um, that are VMAX are full arts. I mean, they probably are. But that is, that's got, some, that's got a nice feel to it. That's like two really, really good looking pulls that we have so far. I mean, of course, Professor's Research is also nice, but... Yeah. See, I was originally only going to buy packs, but then when I saw the Elite Trainer Box, I was like, you got to go for the Elite Trainer Box, because as some of you know from watching some of my older videos, I've had really good luck with Elite Trainer Boxes. Like, there was a time where I opened Elite Trainer Box and basically pulled, like, three or four full art cards. I think it was the uh, Unbroken Bonds, because I remember getting the Reshiram and Charizard card, so it was just absolutely monstrous pulls. We have a Metal Energy. We haven't doubled up, which is really actually exciting. I don't know if maybe that's just luck of the draw or they make sure you get all eight. But, I mean, we're missing Water and Fairy, so it, it, we're just getting really lucky that we haven't doubled up here. But a Silly Cobra, a Yamper, very cute, Krabby, a uh, uh, Cuffant, a um, Baltoy, ooh, an Orbeetle. I didn't even know that this boy existed, but he's a good look. Oh, well, now that I didn't know he existed, but now we get two of them. Cool Pokemon, might want to try to catch it, because that actually looks very cool. What does it evolve from? It evolves from a uh, Dotler, which evolves into something else, or evolves from something else. So let's go, let's end this with a bang, let's get that other doggo, and let's go out swinging. But either way, this box was phenomenal. Um, and boom, a water energy, so there we go, we got eight different energies, that's... What are the odds of that? Like, that's gotta be some kind of odds. I mean, of course, there's probably even, I mean, some statistics person out there can do that. I was not good at statistics in high school, but if you, you know, you take like one out, you have a one out of nine chance and you get eight different variations in each pack and blah, 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 blah. Metal Saucer, but I mean, I'm not a math channel, so. <laughs> Malwile, uh, Gossiflower, ooh, very nice looking Goldeen. All the artwork has been very nice in this is Scorpy. Speaking of art, Diglett going into the Scorpy, very nice, very nice, and a Drapion reverse rare into a Gengar holographic so we got we got four pulls and two of them were fantastic I I mean I'm not gonna scoff at, at any hollows here but wow it was a really good box I mean first of all the odds of this are really cool eight energies eight packs nothing different I know probably people don't care that's cool like in itself, in my opinion. But then you also have a holographic Professor's Research, a holographic Gengar, absolutely stunning, a Stone Journeyer VMAX full art card, and a Vakian V Gold full art, super hyper rare card. Like, wow, first pack, the magic was really there. I just love the shine on that. I'm not gonna stop looking at this thing all night. Um, but I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I was super excited to go out and get some cards, and I'm really glad I did because I pushed myself to go get them, and it is clearly worth it. This card is going to be worth a lot of money. I can already tell because that is... What are the odds that I pulled that? I know I said what are the odds a lot in this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. What is this? Oh, I didn't even sleeve this. <laughs> I didn't even sleeve Professor's Research. Like, oh, sorry, bud. You're a holographic, but you're not getting sleeved. She is now sleeved up. Everybody's sleeved and ready to go into the binder. One of these days, I will do a collection showcase where I showcase like all the cool cards that I have. Only if you guys want to, let me know. Um, because I'd, I'd want to do something more than just flipping through the binder. But um, definitely some cool cards to add to the collection. Zeki and such a cool card. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what you get in any of the packs, any of the uh, code cards, any packs you open. Um, and let me know what else you're looking forward to about this set because I'm just getting started and I really want to open a handful of these cards. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.